few places in the United States hold more historical importance than Boston. Boston is consistently ranked as one of the top 10 most visited cities in the United States, and for good reason. Home to a thriving food and drink scene, historic landmarks, and activities for all types of travelers, the city offers plenty to keep visitors occupied. So whether you're on a solo adventure or traveling with the whole family, here are 10 of the best things to do in Boston. Number 1. Plan for some good food in restaurants. A Boston itinerary is not complete without giving recommendations on where to eat. For breakfast, eat at the Friendly Toast if you are looking for a delicious and hearty breakfast in Boston. This popular eatery is known for its creative and flavorful dishes, made with fresh ingredients and plenty of love. The menu at the Friendly Toast is always changing, but some of the favorite dishes include the Huevos Rancheros, the Smoked Salmon Eggs Benedict, and their amazing breakfast sandwiches. No matter what you order, you are sure to be satisfied. For lunch, head to Quincy Market, located at the Faneuil Hall Marketplace. Faneuil Hall is a historic shopping, dining, and entertainment marketplace located near the waterfront in Boston. It was established in 1742 and was the site of America's first town meeting. Today, it is a popular dining and shopping district, especially among tourists exploring the Freedom Trail. There are a number of restaurants and pubs making it the largest food hall in New England. Try some international eats along with local favorites like Boston pizza, Italian cannoli, and fresh New England seafood. Since you're in Boston, try the clam chowder, a local New England specialty. For dinner, if you're looking for a historic place to dine during your trip to Boston, or simply want to find somewhere to enjoy some New England seafood, I'd suggest visiting the Union Oyster House. The Union Oyster House was established in 1826 and is the oldest restaurant in Boston. It's located on the Freedom Trail near Faneuil Hall, and getting a reservation here is surely one of the best things to do in Boston. On the menu, you'll find clams, oysters, lobster rolls, fish and chips, and much more. For dessert, eat the original Boston cream pie at the Omni Parker House. It was served during the hotel's grand opening way back in 1856. Number 2. Walk the Freedom Trail If there's one thing you must do in Boston, it's walking the Freedom Trail. The famous two and a half mile pathway leads you to 16 historical destinations related to American history in Boston and is easily one of the most popular things to do in the city. It starts at Boston Common and passes by landmarks such as the King's Chapel, Bunker Hill, the Boston Massacre Site, Paul Revere's House, and more. You can walk this brick road throughout the city guided or self-guided with signs and historical markers all along the way. This should be your main activity as you'll want to take your time and see all the sites thoroughly. Number three, step back in time at the Paul Revere House. The oldest remaining building in downtown Boston once belonged to none other than Paul Revere. Whether you head inside for a tour or simply admire the facade as you walk by, be sure to note this beautiful piece of American history. If you opt to do the tour, you'll get a glimpse into what life was like in the 1700s, see original furnishings owned by Paul Revere's family, and learn more about this significant figure in the American Revolution. After your tour, you can witness his statue just a few steps away in front of the Old North Church. Number 4. Visit the Boston Tea Party Ships and Museum Boston Tea Party Ships and Museum is where fully restored 18th century ships bob in the harbor, and guests are led through an interactive Boston Tea Party. You get to actually participate in the Boston Tea Party, with actors playing Sam Adams, Abigail Adams, and other famous patriots. You also can climb on a replica of the ship the teas were stored on, and throw the tea overboard. The experience ends in a short exhibit that shows a video that explains what happened after the Boston Tea Party, and how the events shaped America. Number 5. Visit Beacon Hill Boston is an amazing photogenic city, and nowhere is more obvious than Beacon Hill. As one of Boston's oldest neighborhoods, Beacon Hill has the look and feel you probably imagine when thinking of Boston. 
be sure to visit Lewisburg Square, home to some of Boston's priciest real estate. You'll also want to be sure to visit Acorn Street, the tiny cobblestone alley that is easily among Boston's most photographed spots. When you're done taking photos and admiring the beauty, be sure to stop by the famous Tate Bakery or the original Cheers Bar to rejuvenate and catch a second wind. Number 6. Taking a Baseball Game at Fenway Park Watching baseball in Fenway Park is one of the best things to do in Boston because of the rich history behind the ballpark. The Red Sox have been playing here since 1912, and while you're watching the game, you can admire the stadium's unique, timeless architecture. It's well worth splurging on good seats and grabbing some peanuts and Cracker Jacks to root on the Boston Red Sox. But if you're not traveling to Boston during baseball season, no worries. You can still take a one-hour guided tour of Fenway Park that will captivate avid baseball fans and curious tourists alike. Number 7. Peru's Brattle Bookshop Brattle Bookshop is one of the largest and oldest used bookshops in the country, easily making it one of the best things to do in Boston. Dating back to the 19th century and specializing in used and rare books, Brattle Bookshop is located just off Boston Commons and includes three stories and an outdoor courtyard stuffed to the brim with books. Even if you don't make it inside, the courtyard is worth seeing. It boasts hundreds of inexpensive used books and enormous murals that climb the courtyard walls. Inside, you can explore two floors of gently used books and one floor of rare and antique books. There's just something about being at one of the oldest bookstores in one of the oldest cities in America. Number 8. Visit the Samuel Adams Boston Brewery After a day of sightseeing, you deserve a beer. Sam Adams is a major brewer in Boston, and locals drink it widely and frequently. The brewery offers free tours. You'll learn all about the history of the Samuel Adams brand, experience the entire craft brewing process, taste the specialty malts, and smell the hops used to brew Sam Adams Boston Lager. And of course, sample a few of their award-winning beers. The tour takes about an hour, 30 minutes learning about the beer, and the other 30 minutes spent tasting the beer. Number 9. Make a stop at the JFK Presidential Library. Learn all about the life of the 35th president and Boston native through interactive exhibits that include a vast collection of personal documents. As you wander through the library and museum, you can also see many of the gifts and artifacts that John and Jackie Kennedy received while they lived in the White House. Number 10. Explore the Ivy Leagues at Harvard. Founded in 1636, Harvard is the oldest university in America. Head to the campus in Cambridge and join a free tour. Learn about the university's history, architecture, programs, and myths. When you're finished, wander around and experience Harvard Square's eclectic offerings. Walk around, stroll into used bookstores and coffee shops, and watch artists, vagabonds, locals, and college students mingle. There are so many things to do in Boston, but visiting the places on this list will make for a complete trip. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything, and maybe even consider supporting the channel over on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video, consider watching this playlist, and then visit the channel to search the Recollection Road Library. As always, thank you so much for watching.